If you want to hear want to hear an inspiring word that will get you through your day. If you want to build your faith, your faith grow in God's grace. God's grace. To have a better connection with Jesus Christ. So tune in to Good God's Morning. Good God's Morning. Good God's Morning. Well, good guys, morning to all of you. I pray you're having a blessed and beautiful morning thus far. Beloved, it is another day. That's right. The Lord has made and we will, we shall. We are going to rejoice and be glad in it. Listen, let me know you're on. Say hello to me. Like and share this. Share this. Share this. Like and share this. Please, thank you so very much. Good guys, morning to you. Let's get our scripture for this morning. Beloved, it's another day. The Lord is made, and we will, we shall, we are going to rejoice and be glad in it. Let's get our scripture coming from 1 Peter 6 and 11. First, I'm sorry, it's my Peter, that says Timothy. <laughs> First Timothy 6 and 11. First Timothy 6 and 11. He says, but you, man of God, flee from all this and pursue righteousness godliness, faith, love, endurance, and gentleness. Let me read it again. He says, but you, man of God, flee from all this and pursue righteousness, godliness, faith, love, endurance, and gentleness. Listen to me, beloved. Timothy is talking, you know, Timothy, um, one of those persons that gave instruction to those that were of the gospel, those that were, you know, um, preaching and teaching and, you know, all that good stuff of the gospel. And so Timothy was saying before this, if you go back and read it, he was telling them, you know, about all those different things that, you know, we, we um, you know, we are not yokes of, of, of slaves of, of our master. You know, we 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 should, you know, um, keep the respect of God's name, and you know, we we are um, our, our our children of God, and therefore we should hold to the sound instruction that the Lord God has given to us. And you know, he he says, you know, there are going to be some some things out there that we're going to see. There are going to be some corrupt people. There are going to be some. Um, you know, unhealthy um, controversies, the strife, malice talk. They're going to be, you know, some the, the people are just, things are going to happen. There's going to be some ungodly things that are going on. And But he says, but you. He talks about all that stuff. And then he stops. Verse 11. And he says, but you. But you. But you, beloved, we're going to experience and we're going to see a whole lot of stuff that does not make sense for the people of God to do. I'm not talking about those that aren't saved. I'm talking about those who profess to be Christians, those who profess to uh, have these titles and stuff, we, 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 we will see. I know some of you have seen it. We will see a whole lot of stuff being done by these people. But you, Timothy says, we cannot govern ourselves by what we see just because they did it or are doing it. That mean we should do it or we can do it. 
we're going to see a whole lot of stuff. People are going to say a whole lot of stuff. People are going to do a whole lot of stuff. And yes, they're going to be some of the ones that say that they love the Lord and they love God's people and Jesus this and Jesus that and going to be speaking in the tongues and going to be trying to lay hands on people. And all of a sudden, we're going to see all of that. You're going to see some of that. You're going to see some people gather together and you're going to see some behavior that is not of God. You're going to see this. But Timothy is saying, but you, you, you who are watching this morning, share this message with other people. Let get this out. You who are watching, you who are no, who will know better after today. Don't you participate in that. It does not matter what they do, what they say. Understand that God is going to hold you accountable now because you know that is not of God and you should not be doing that. I understand there are some, we some people, he tells me, he said, but you man of God, flee all of this. He's like, I know, I know what's going on. I know they haven't really gotten in a relationship with Jesus yet. And they just trying to, you know, perpetrate and act like they saved and sanctified and filled with the Holy Ghost. But they ain't really there yet. He says, but you, you flee all this. Don't talk about them. Don't, 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 you know, gossip um, with them. Don't engage in the activity with them. He says, you flee from that. You run from that. When I was younger, we, we you know, the church I was in. I used to, um, you know, be around some of the ministers and, and some of the ministers would say, you know, sometimes you've got to see what people do and take the good from it and run from the rest, leave the rest. I didn't quite understood that until I got, you know, older because, beloved, again, you're going to see some things that you shouldn't be seeing. You're going to be around some people. And you're going to think that they are, you know, they, they powerful up there in that pulpit. They powerful up in church. But when you get home, when you get home, get home with them, you see other activity that is not of God. Beloved, I'm not going to say don't worry about them, but I'm going to say don't worry about them. I'm going to say pray for them because they're not quite there yet. But, beloved, don't you get entangled with the foolishness. You, as the scripture says, 1 Timothy 6 and 11, flee from this. He says to pursue righteousness, godliness, faith, love, endurance, and gentleness. You do this. Again, he's telling us today, don't worry about them. You pray for them. But don't you engage in the foolishness that they are engaging in. You run. You, scripture says, save yourself. You run. You pursue righteousness. You pursue godliness. You pursue faith and love, endurance, and gentleness. You pursue these things that are of God. And you let the wrath of God come on them. Don't you get involved. Don't you get entangled. Don't you get in the way. God is trying to warn us today. We, 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 we've, we've seen it. We've been around it. And, you know, they said it's okay. God is saying, not so. It is not okay. I need you to come out from among them and be separated. Understand? God is saying this. Separate yourself. Flee. Flee. Run. <laughs> That's what flee means. Run. You seek God, you pursue God, you pursue his righteousness, you pursue godliness, you pursue faith, understanding, and love, you pursue endurance, you pursue gentleness. Run. Don't get caught up. Don't get involved. God's got something coming for those. And I know many of us, we see things and we be like, God, how, how, how can this go on? How can this go on? And you best believe, beloved, that God sees it. God knows it. He's going to deal with it. 
but you need to stay away from it. Scripture says, save yourself. I know people do and say things, um, you know, and, and you, sometimes we feel like they're our, our, our leaders and they're, you know, other uh, people who are been in this game, not game, and that's what they think. That's, that's what it is to them, a game. They've been in this game too long. No. We we think they've been in it in it, you know, long enough to understand and to know when they're doing the right thing. Beloved, if your spirit does not agree with it, run, flee. As Timothy said. Okay? Let's pray. Father, we thank you, God, for your grace and your love. We thank you for your mercy, your kindness towards us this morning. God, brand new mercies that you've given us. God, we aren't deserving of your grace and love. But God, we thank you, O oh God. Forgive us, Lord, of anything that we've done that has not been pleasing in your sight. God, this morning, we thank you for your word, opportunity to commune with you, O oh Lord, to hear from heaven, O oh God, that you're telling us, you're warning some of us this morning to flee from this, but us. We, we are, have been called to a higher stand. We, the righteousness of God. We, my, the brothers and sisters of God who are watching this morning, we have been called to a higher standard. And God, thank you for giving us this opportunity, for sending us this warning this morning to flee from all that, un, that, that, that stuff, all the things that we've watched and all the things that we have engaged in in, in an in a, in a innocent manner because our leader or because other people who've been in the game long enough to know better have engaged in. But God, you have called us out this morning out from among them and be ye separated. You have told us today to flee. And so God, after today, we know better. Hallelujah. God, help us to flee. Help us to endure. Help us to uh, pursue your pursue righteousness and godliness and faith and love and gentleness. God, thank you, Lord, for the opportunity, God, to get it right with you. We give you praise, glory, and honor today, God. Hallelujah. Bless those who are watching this morning. Bless those that are watching this later. And God, bless those that perhaps have already been on this morning, that they too, oh God, pursue righteousness. They too hear the word of God and flee. We give you glory today. We ask you to bless everyone who's on. Give them strength. In Jesus' name we pray. And the people of God said amen and amen. Well, good God's morning to all of you all. Good God's morning to you all. Good God's morning to you. Good God's morning to you. Amen. Y'all say good morning to Lady Karen. Amen. Good God's morning, honey. Good God's morning. Let's see who's on this morning. Good God's morning, uh, Minister Hughie. Oh, all right, I see the other name. Good God's morning. Uh, good God's morning, Keter. Good morning, Brother Kenny. Good morning, Michelle Satcher. Good morning, Kanita. Good morning, Bobby. Good morning, Victoria Sanders. Good morning. Good morning, Kingsley. Good morning, Kingsley. Brother Kingsley, good morning to you. God bless you. Good morning, Shelley. Good morning. Good morning. Good God's morning to all of you again. God bless you this morning. Good morning, Shaquita. Johnson, God bless you, sister. Amen. Good morning. Good morning. Good God's morning again to all of y'all. Y'all have a blessed and beautiful day. Remember, run. Run, 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 run. Save yourselves, all right? Run, run, run. Can't go off of what you see everybody else do and everybody else say. Jesus has given us our warning this morning that what they're doing is not what he has ordained and, and designed and desired for you in your life. So run, all right? Flee! Run! Get away! <laughs> all right. Good guys morning to you. God bless you. Make sure y'all like and share this with somebody, all right, today on your Facebook page. Make sure you like and share. Also, please join us on our YouTube page, um, Victory in Christ United Church, and also Good Guys Morning. Also, Good Guys Morning has a website. It's www.goodgodsmorning.com. Go and, 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 and see what's on there. Um, I do some more elaborations. Um, what I what I can't do or whatever else God gives me that, you know, my time runs out on here, I go on there and elaborate, all right? So good God's morning to you. Y'all have a blessed and beautiful day. I love you all and there's nothing you can do about it. And we'll see y'all tomorrow. The same time, same place for another good God's morning. Join us tonight for Bible study, 6.30 p.m. God bless you. Good God's morning to ya. If you want to hear, want to hear an inspiring word, that will get you through your day. If you want to build your faith, your faith grow in God.
God's grace, God's grace. To have a better connection with Jesus Christ. So tune in to Good God's Morning.